basing on the uh, materials available from open sources and the knowledge of military equipment and uh, Soviet Russian military industry, uh, I've made some research uh, on the recent alleged chemical attack in Syria. And the uh, main uh, results of that research uh, leads to the conclusion that uh, there is possibility that uh, these chemical weapons was used either uh, uh, Bashar Assad's uh, own forces or his supporters, or uh, uh, Bashar Assad forces lost control over the chemical arsenals of Syria, and uh, these weapons might be stolen from his uh, arsenals and used by rebels. Mm, uh, on the 21st of August uh, this year, uh, the, war the world has heard about uh, use of chemical weapons in uh, Damascus uh, suburbs. Uh, later on, in five days after that, UN uh, chemi uh, chemical weapons inspectors have arrived finally to the site of alleged chemical attack and got uh, access to the evidences which they tried to uh, collect there. Uh, what they found, uh, I tried to show you the raw material and then make some analysis. First of all, they uh, found the uh, fact that there were 12 sites of alleged use of chemical weapons and in one of them, they found uh, these remnants of the uh, artillery rocket. It's uh, more or less obvious from this um, picture taken from video uh, that uh, that is not high explosive rocket because after explosion of high explosive warhead, uh, the uh, rocket part of the uh, shell goes into small fragments. You will not be able to find it nearly intact as you can see on this picture. So that is fact number one. Fact number two is that this um, rocket has very distinctive design of the nozzle section. You can see that there are ten angled sections, uh, ten angled uh, nozzles on this um, rocket, which is not very usual design. Then. Um, blogger named uh, Brown Moses made the correct uh, measurements, took measurements from this video and uh, uh, measured that the diameter of this, video, uh, of this rocket was approximately uh, 14 centimeters and the length approximately 60, 62 centimeters. That is the uh, second piece of information. And the final raw fact is that uh, there is the remaining um, marking on the body of this rocket saying 179 and you can see that so th this is the set of raw facts now let me go to the analysis first of all it's um, obvious that uh, the rocket found by UN inspectors um, has striking uh, similarity or striking resemblance with the a rocket which you can find in the Russian National Artillery Museum in St. Petersburg, the artillery rocket M14. And you can see that uh, the design and external view of that rocket is very similar. Uh, and uh, the size of the rocket found in uh, Damascus Suburban and the original M14 uh, rocket is very similar. American sources state that the length of the uh, rocket is uh, 63 centimeters. The technical manuals on this type of rocket in Russian sources uh, clearly state that the length of the rocket part of the uh, shell is 594 millimeters, so nearly 60 centimeters. And uh, as, as I said earlier, the rocket measured in Damascus was nearly 60 centimeters long. All uh, sources, Russian and uh, Western, agree that the caliber of this type of rocket is 140 millimeters, exactly 14 centimeters as it was found in Damascus. The next uh, piece of evidence is that uh, M14 rocket has the very distinctive design of its nozzle section, which uh, has 10 angled uh, nozzles angled at 22 degrees uh, uh, from the longitudinal uh, axis of the rocket. So that also strikingly resembles what was found uh, in Damascus. And the final, uh, final uh, piece is that marking 179. The Russian uh, technical manuals on M14 rockets uh, says that uh, there is the marking of the plant which produced the rocket section body 
and that is um, located on the same uh, part of the rocket body as it was found on in Damascus. The American sources uh, agree with that. They also show this marking while they do not specify the meaning of that marking. That is very interesting to notice that um, the Russian armed forces uh, still possess the artillery rocket of uh, M14 type and rockets this, uh, based upon its uh, rocket body, still possess it and just recently uh, the Russian Ministry of Defense displayed that for journalists. I can show you the picture from the um, journalist tour on uh, the uh, Russian cruiser Moskva on the Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol on 21st July of 2011. You can see the rockets TSP-47, uh, which utilizes the same rocket part as M-14, and I'd like to attract your attention to the fact that one of these rockets carry uh, the very same marking, 179. So that is the same marking, actual marking, it is not um, and the interesting fact about this uh, rocket is that it was uh, designed and assembled in Novosibirsk by the Institute of the Applied Physics and uh, nearby there is the plant called uh, Sipselmash, that is the Siberian agriculture machinery plant which is known to be the largest in, the, in Europe uh, artillery munition production plant. But the most interesting part about that is that in, since 1936, Sipselmash plant had another coded name, and the name was combined number 179. So it seems that the uh, rocket found uh, aboard Russian cruiser, as well as the rocket found in Damascus, was sometime produced on Sipselmash in Novosibirsk. That is very interesting and su substantial part, keeping in mind the fact that the uh, Soviet Union uh, has exported to Syria several hundreds of uh, mm, BM-14 weapon system, multi, uh, multiple uh, launcher rocket system, uh, which uh, utilizes M-14 weapons, M-14 rockets. And it is also uh, not worthy that it is uh, known that Hezbollah uh, uses uh, another version of uh, weapon system uh, utilizing the same uh, artillery rocket M14 called RPU-14. That is important keeping, uh, keeping in mind the uh, claims that uh, the Soviet Union uh, closely cooperated with the Syrian uh, government since at least 70s uh, in the area of chemical weapons. Um, uh, in 1995, it was the uh, Moscow Directorate of the Russian um, Counterintelligence Service, FSB, which accused this gentleman, uh, Major General Anatoly Kuntsevich, in illegal exporting to Syria uh, 45 tons of precursors and uh, necessary chemicals to produce uh, nerve uh, gas. Um, that is uh, not not clear up to now because the case was not finished. But uh, the information about cooperation between the Soviet Union and Syria on the development of chemical weapons is widespread and repeated many times in different sources, both in the Russian and um, Western media. Uh, so. It seems altogether, the uh, above mentioned, um, leads to the uh, first conclusion that it seems that Russia might possess the invaluable information about uh, the fate of the chemical uh, version of M14 rockets, so-called M14S Belka Squirrel, which might be most probably produced uh, by Novosibirsk Sipselmash plant and probably uh, exported to Syria in the Soviet time, mostly, most uh, probably in the unfilled shape, so it was not export of uh, chemical weapons themselves, but just delivery means. And um, so probably Russia might uh, shed some light on the way uh, uh, 
uh, which brought the rocket found in Damascus in this August, brought it there to Syria. Uh, altogether, that leads to some uh, more very important conclusions about possibility and um, actual meaning of what happened in Syria in, during this uh, August. It seems that there are three main options. One option is that uh, this was the chemical weapon in uh, Syrian arsenals, stolen from these arsenals and used, as uh, uh, Bashar al-Assad claims, by rebels, which means that uh, Bashar al-Assad probably have, uh, has lost or is losing control over arsenals of its chemical weapons. The second option is that uh, that uh, rocket found by UN inspectors was used by uh, Assad's own troops. And the third option is uh, that it might be used by Hezbollah utilizing RPU-14 weapon system, which means that either Hezbollah has stolen it from uh, Assad's arsenals or Assad-controlled uh, troops handed that to Hezbollah fighters for combat use. Meanwhile, the rocket which I mentioned uh, in the first part uh, is not the most widely used in Syria. There is another type of rocket allegedly um, connected to the use of chemical weapons, uh, which is uh, quite wide, uh, widely found on, uh, uh, in Syria. Uh, and they were found due after this most recent uh, chemical attack uh, on 21st of August. These are the much larger weapons, uh, also having very distinctive design. Uh, they are uh, widely publicized. For instance, here on picture you can see the UN inspector taking pictures of one of 20 uh, rockets of this type found after the most recent attack. Uh, these rockets have... Um, B caliber design with the much uh, wider uh, warhead section and very distinctive design of stabili uh, stabilizators at the bottom of the rocket uh, part. Uh, some of uh, rockets of this type, there are uh, different variants of this rocket. Uh, one of them is uh, mm, carries the uh, high explosive warhead and uh, some of these high explosive uh, rockets did not fail to explode and when the rebels um, measured the contain uh, the amount of uh, high explosive in the warhead of this rocket they measured that it was approximately 200 kilograms of high explosive which means that in case if uh, that exploded you cannot find the rest of the rocket e nearly intact because it will go into the smallest fragments. Meanwhile, there are lots of uh, lots of uh, uh, parts of these rockets found in uh, Syria now, which uh, leads to the um, supposition that it's probably utilized different non. A high explosive wa uh, warhead. There are no um, information about use on these rockets of uh, fragmentation um, warheads, so uh, it seems that uh, they were, they might be chemical. Here is the uh, lorry delivering a um, rocket to, um, to its launcher, and I'd like to attract your attention to the design of this rocket. It has very distinctive design, big caliber with the warhead uh, section having much larger diameter and uh, very uh, distinctive uh, stabilizers at the bottom of the rocket part. Basically, that is the rocket of the same type as found in the areas controlled by rebels. And uh, the important uh, additional information about these specific video is that the lorry delivering um, rocket is accompanied by uniformed troops wearing red barrets. It's an important piece, I will come back to it later. Here is the same lorry with the um, rocket already loaded onto the launcher. And as you can see, there is uniformed uh, person wearing red barret here again. Then the uh, final preparation for uh, firing and uniformed person in red barrets once again then actual firing 
and I'd like to attract your attention to the fact that the design of the rocket, much larger uh, warhead section, is basically the same as the rocket found later on in the areas controlled by rebels. And this rocket is being fired in the presence of uniformed personnel wearing red berets. That is important, important detail, keeping in mind that there are three forces in Syria now uh, which uh, have as element of their uniform red barracks. One of them is the Syrian military police. The other is the Republican Guard, the most elite forces directly subordinated to the Syrian president. And the third is Hezbollah fighters who ha also wear red barrets. Here, Hezbollah fighters are shown on funerals of their comrade in Lebanon. So, altogether, that means that once again, as in the previous case, it might be uh, the case that it is either Syrian troops or their uh, supporters from Hezbollah uh, used these, fired these uh, rockets, supposedly carrying chemical weapons, uh, because there are no other evidences associating uh, somebody else with that. There are people in uh, wearing red berets presented at the firing site. The fact that uh, these uh, rockets of unstandard design, these rockets are not standard weapon of the Syrian army, that is the uh, modification made to uh, the existing elements, so that is new. Uh, and the fact that uh, the personnel wearing in uniform wearing red berets are constantly present at the launch sites of these rockets, which later on found in the areas affected by the chemical uh, attack, uh, leads to the conclusion that it might be the connection between the either Syrian uh, army, Syrian forces themselves, or forces supporting uh, Bashar al-Assad in this conflict, uh, Hezbollah. There it might be connection between them and use of these uh, rockets, which um, probably delivered chemical uh, agents to the um, areas near Damascus.